What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna be doing an update on MULN stock. And in today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we caught this movement to the upside uh, that from its swing low to swing high brought about 35% uh, of uh, to the value of the company. Then I will continue with the fundamental news and I will show you what news was the catalyst uh, for this movement to the upside and for how long it will continue to go higher. And at the end of this video, I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis and I will show you what should we expect next. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video just two days ago, somewhere at this point, uh, and I've told you that uh, this asset is still in consistent downtrend. It is uh, consistently forming uh, lower lows and lower highs. And uh, on upcoming uh, days, we should see some kind of uh, spike in its price. And to catch this spike, uh, I've told you that you can set an alert in order to leave your position, because a lot of people stuck with this asset uh, and uh, they are deeply in red for 60, 70, 80, 90, whatever it might be percent. And unfortunately, it is true. I still stand on my position that this company is a fraudulent company and David Mishuri is doing nothing in order to make uh, this company successful. He's just diluting his uh, existing shareholders and collecting more money. So, and uh, what uh, is the, the news? What was the news that uh, was the reason of uh, this uh, movement to the upside? Let me show you that uh, David Mishuri st uh, still keeps silent. Uh, he didn't publish any news, basically, uh, that might be the driver of uh, this asset hire. The only news that uh, was published on their uh, press release section is right here. On May 25th, uh, they published this. Mullen completes successful commercial drive event and showcase at 2023 Government uh, Fleet Expo. And uh, this news cannot be the driver of Malin uh, stock. Uh, the real driver is uh, this news. We are on uh, Lawrence Hart's uh, official uh, Facebook uh, page. And he wrote 14 hours ago this uh, post. Thanks to my international and national uh, legal team uh, for protecting me and my technology. Many have uh, tried to steal my technology. Not to mention tried to destroy my character among other things to block our blessings. I remained uh, strong and uh, kept my promise. Uh, thanks for all of uh, the love and prayers. Thanks to so many companies who gave me a chance. Forever humble and, and grateful. No man can take uh, what God has given you. Uh, respectful I will always be. Lawrence. And uh, he published the link uh, on this uh, article. It was published. It is published on uh, newstrends.com. Uh, uh, and uh, here is uh, this article. And the title of uh, this article is quite interesting. Lauren Hart uh, headed to Saudi Arabia confirms Mullen gets 50% of Saudi deal. So, only the title itself uh, raises uh, a lot of questions. First of all, why uh, Lawrence Hart is still uh, pumping Mullen? I don't know why, but uh, it is a very suspicious action. He is uh, the head of a completely different company. He is a CEO of a uh, limited liability company. Yes, uh, it is a subsidiary of Malin Automotive, but it doesn't uh, make sense uh, than one person consistently shilling another company that uh, is investing in his company, that uh, its stocks uh, uh, might uh, be much, much higher because of this news. On top of that, uh, let me show you this. Let me quote you this. In late breaking news on Wednesday, Mr. Lawrence Hart spoke to Carl from Financial Journey on YouTube, during which he stated that Mullen will get half of the Saudi deal uh, and that uh, he himself will uh, be headed to Saudi Arabia next week. And uh, here is the link on this uh, YouTube. Uh, and I've seen this uh, video. And uh, I can tell you that uh, in this video, Cal told us multiple times that Mr. Lawrence Hart stated multiple times that he cannot uh, speak on behalf of Malin Automotive. And why in the world this article is uh, pointing on completely different? It is, uh, it is nonsense and it doesn't make sense at all. On top of that, let me show you this uh, and let me quote it for you. Mr. Harch also stated that revenues from the Saudi deal would be 10x what uh, Malin is currently making from its vehicles and commercial program. So, and currently Malin is making zero revenue. And if you zero multiply by 10x, uh, you will have you will still have a zero. 
And uh, this article uh, is uh, not a well-written article and it has a lot of misleading information. And let me show you why this article is basically written and why we don't have any uh, this type of uh, news uh, on, we cannot find this type of news on other sources. Let me show you uh, at the bottom of the screen, you can find uh, uh, these sections. And if you click on disclaimer uh, tab folder, you will find this one. Please note, the article on the website are for the purpose of uh, bringing traffic to this website. We have nothing to do with the companies, uh, we don't buy their stock and we have not been uh, compensated by the companies or third parties or anybody. So, it is not the news, uh, the real news uh, website, it is just a website uh, which uh, pumps uh, different stocks. And uh, I have uh, to say that uh, this uh, due diligence made uh, by post hoc ergo. And uh, shout out to him because uh, he also brings a lot of uh, facts uh, related to Malin. And uh, here you can see that uh, he found uh, this uh, disclaimer. And uh, definitely uh, you cannot rely on this company as the potential long-term investment. So what should we expect next? I have to say that uh, I have a lot of doubts that uh, this uh, contract will be ever signed. On top of that, a lot of uh, people from YouTube, a lot of uh, YouTubers made a lot of videos uh, uh, to pump uh, this stock. And uh, they have a lot of excitement in uh, their videos. And they have to say that... Uh, uh, it's up to them, but um, these people are guilty for all the losses that uh, retail investors uh, might uh, take uh, on uh, the Marlin positions. And definitely, you cannot rely on these videos, uh, you have to do your own due diligence. So, and uh, let me show you, uh, let me ask you another question. Why in the world, and uh, basically show me just one company, uh, that has uh, some kind of subsidiary and the CEO of this subsidiary is about to sign a huge contract for tens of billions of dollars and before he signs this contract he consistently trying to shield this contract and he consistently trying to uh, make uh, this uh, information uh, public. It doesn't make sense, uh, even from the business standpoint. That's why I stand on my, I still stand on my position that you cannot rely on this news. And uh, the only reason why this asset is uh, moving higher is the anticipation of uh, something big that uh, might happen uh, in upcoming week or days. And right here, as you can see, we have uh, the first uh, retracement of uh, this movement to the upside. And I think uh, that uh, uh, this movement to the upside uh, you can describe just uh, by the rumors sell the news. And uh, on top of that, uh, let me show you that uh, if uh, it is uh, the real uh, contract uh, which will bring up to 50% of uh, $10 billion uh, to Malin Automotive, just think of it like this. Uh, is it a pure profit for Malin or why in the world... Uh, uh, Lawrence Harch company will give 50% of $10 billion uh, to another company. It doesn't make sense. We don't know the real cost of uh, sales. And that is why uh, you cannot rely on $5 billion that uh, will magically appear on the Marlin uh, free cash flow account. Definitely it will not happen and I highly recommend you not to uh, follow this news and I highly recommend you not to enter any of uh, long position with Malin. Because in the long term and in the, even in the medium term, this asset uh, will break uh, the 73, uh, 72 cents uh, price point and it will go lower and nothing will stop it uh, and uh, uh, just uh, stay aside from any trades uh, with this asset uh, because you can benefit uh, from this price action only if you're an experienced trader. And for now, there are almost zero people who entered their position during just uh, two sessions yesterday and the day before yesterday because any other long positions with this asset are deeply in red and uh, you can uh, see it by just this price action. So, I think that's all information that I want to provide you. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye! I got the cash in the bag,